How's it going guys? Welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys had a great week. I spent mine over at the PRI show in Indianapolis. It's pretty interesting. It was fun. I got to see a lot of cool cars, people, products, new releases. It was a great time. So main reason why I'm doing this video today guys is I'm going to do a three part series and what I'm trying to achieve is a high horsepower number on just methanol injection and pump gas. So I wanna eliminate the need for race fuel, E85, and uh, utilize my street cars as best as possible. And I wanna install it with you guys. I'm gonna do a three-part series, like I said, um, everything from explaining why I'm doing it to installation and then dyno day. And that way I can give you guys the results I got and maybe it might convince you guys to do the same. The reason why I'm doing methanol injection is for a lot of reasons. Um, it's a supplemental fuel, so that means I don't have to upgrade nothing. I don't have to upgrade my injectors. I'm going to stay with my 1050 ID injectors. I'm going to not touch my fuel pump. I'm basically going to leave it how it is. And that's the great thing about methanol injection is, is it is a fuel supply. So. You don't have to touch none of your fuel system. It, it uh, has a chemical compound in it that as it gets sprayed and atomizes, it actually uh, brings down the intake air temps an, an extreme amount. And on a hot summer day, uh, boosted cars like this, that makes, that makes a lot of a difference. And you know, that could be you know, within a 50 horsepower difference, um, bringing just the intake air temps down. So it kind of mimics as like dry ice in a way. Uh, Donut Media actually has a really, really good video explaining methanol injection. And there's a lot that goes into it as far as uh, why people use it, but um, I'll put the link down below for that video so you guys can watch that clip and that way you kind of understand why I'm doing it. Uh, but for the most part, the main goal is it's, it's fuel supply. It's a really strong fuel. I believe it's equivalent to uh, C16. So it's gonna allow me to run uh, high horsepower um, without knocking such as you know just trying to tune the car and pump gas where Hondas usually start knocking around 4, 470, 480 and uh, in that situation you start taking timing out and stuff like that but for the most part it's a knock reducer uh, it's a stronger fuel and uh, has uh, cooling chemical compounds in it so that way uh, your engine has fresh air so it's gonna be really cool it's a uh, I think you guys are gonna like it I I haven't seen a lot of people install meth kits, like I hear about them here and there, but I've never heard of a 100% methanol injection system. Usually people will do the 50-50 uh, snow or AEMs, but uh, I think the real results will come with 100%. And um, that's what this video is for, is, is so that way we can all find out. And then, uh, yeah, it's gonna be great. I won't have to buy race fuel, E85 anymore. You know, E85 is, is never E85. Sometimes it's E70 or E75, depending on where you go. And I won't have to buy race fuel anymore, which is $12 a gallon. So yeah, those are the reasons why I'm doing it. And uh, we're gonna find out here real soon how how good it's gonna be. Because I think it's it could be game changer for the Hondas and uh, the four banger crowd like us. You know, switching over to methanol, uh, there's no more, longer a need for race fuel. And methanol is super cheap, so why not? <laughs> the methanol injection system I'm doing is 100%. So unlike other people out there, like uh, the AEM kits, you know, all that stuff, those are uh, have to be diluted with water because the pumps can't handle that pure methanol. And uh, my goal is to do 100% methanol and see what the results are from that. So I think there's gonna be a lot to be gained. We're not diluting the methanol, so it's gonna be really aggressive. And uh, hopefully we should make some really good horsepower and, um, you know, see what happens. So my goal is, is to help bring it back it's not methanol injection it, it you hear about it some people do it but like for street cars it's never been a thing and um, I want to help you guys feel more comfortable uh, learning about meth and uh, hopefully I can convince you guys to do the same because if it can save me five dollars per gallon this is my street car I drive the heck out of it I'm more than happy to, to do that and um, I'll walk you through guys everything. Uh, you guys will be more than welcome to message me as I'm going through this. I don't know much about it, but I'm gonna learn and this is why I'm doing this video. So I wanna bring you guys with me and uh, you know, and, and we can all learn together. So yeah guys, it's gonna be fun. I'll show you guys kind of what I got so far as a kit. I'm using Speed Factory's uh, fuel cell. So 
this is gonna mount right up in here. I'm gonna use this as my methanol tank. And then I got a full Alki control meth kit. And these pumps can actually be ran in 100% meth. They're the only pump out there that can. They have about a three year lifespan sitting. Meth nozzle and all the sensors included and everything you need basically to do so. So yeah, guys, it's gonna be really fun. I'm really excited to uh, do this installation. These videos are really cringy, I'm sorry. I'm really new to making these videos. Um, it's been fun though, honestly, from the videos that I've posted, uh, you know, YouTube's, the internet is, is always interesting. You know, you get everything from like hate comments, um, a lot of boomers, you know, commenting on Honda stuff about, oh, why do you redline them so much? You know, all that stuff. Um, but it's been fun. I get a hate comment here and there, you know, um, it's pretty interesting, you know, about my like double chins and stuff. I'm a, I'm a fat dude. Uh, so what? <laughs> so, um, but yeah, guys, I'll show you around the shop. Honestly, it's, it's pretty cool. Uh, I started working here a while ago. Um, we got this, uh, type S RSX in. This is getting a fully built long block trans and uh, should make, you know, good, good horsepower. But we do, we do a lot of other stuff. So the reason why, um, the reason why I decided to do meth, methanol injection 100% is because like uh, we build a lot of V8s here and like every single uh, V8 we have that comes through here, well, LS or LT, um, they make over a thousand horsepower on just pump gas and meth. And uh, that's what I want to utilize. So like we got meth injection on every vehicle that comes through here. So uh, it'll be cool to see what it does on a four banger. You know, so I got got it already pre-installed. I'm actually gonna take that uh, KS Tune spray plate out, and I'm gonna make that hard line to show you how I did it. It's the hard line I'm gonna do it in stainless steel. But I also got a new throttle body I gotta install as well. So, but yeah, guys, I hope you guys uh, watch this series. I'm gonna do a three series, and. Um, I hope you guys learned something out of it. I know I am definitely going to learn. So if there's stuff I'm saying that sounds incorrect, uh, definitely don't hesitate to educate me on it in the comments. I'm, I'm learning just like you guys are. I'm a, I'm a young cat in this world and you know, I'm still scratching the surface on performance. So hit that like subscribe and that way you can uh, get notified when that second video drops about, um, going through my parts list and, and what's all needed for a methanol injection system.